Yo, today's show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Your online activity should not be public. So protect yourself at expressvpn.com slash achievement. episode of Off Topic is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Stop putting your online data at risk. Get protected at expressvpn.com slash off topic. Um, so yeah, we're going to be heading over there. This is actually, they put, they gave me the wrong thing. See, I remembered the right thing. I remembered the right uh, URL. Well done. They said, hey, this one. And I said, I said, wrong, Tyler. Wrong, wrong, wrong. That's Max. Uh, if you ever see Fredo reaching over and touching my forehead, it's he's adjusting how I sound, there's, yeah, which there's is also what is right here, and also it's just, mm-hmm. just no. He, warm. he just likes to uh, just to caress you ever so gently just from afar. Yeah, that's what happened in the office too. I'm uh, your temporary host, Jeremy Dooley, because Michael's not here. But we're also joined by Alfredo Diaz, Barbara <laughs> Dunkelman, and Trevor Collins. Hey. hey. <laughs> Weird. What a weird time we live in. Have you guys done this format before with one person on like remotely and then the rest yes, of the cast? Yes, but person? we're all spaced out. Yeah. So the oh, TV right. was like over here and then Fredo was over there and then Yeah, it's the future, baby. That's how we're back at the tapes. Back at the tapes. I like your hat, Jeremy. Yeah, we put a we got a little straw hat for you, a little flower. So mm. you're looking for makes me feel at home. <laughs> and when I sit out on my raft. <laughs> talking about how we should add more to it. Should add some pants next time and then put on a, some socks and some shoes in the bottom and just complete the whole Watch look. Yeah, get some like bad. cargo pants. And you were talking about some pool noodles. Yeah. <laughs> for, the, for, the, for the legs. And some Muppet slip, style yeah. legs. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the need to point out that we have like plenty of mannequins and like dead legs. Nah, tall, yeah, we, we probably have that We don't that need stuff, those legs. Yeah, like... I mean the pool noodles, you can just flop them laying around, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jeremy skipped legs. That's what my legs like. <laughs> Yeah, just pool noodles. Always. It, I'm still, uh, and we were talking about this before the podcast a little bit, but I am still on a mission uh, to get us one of those like tablets with the wheels that cruise around. So Jeremy, Fiona, Ify, whoever's like telecommuting in <laughs> can just like uh, hardwire in and start zzz, like, I think you can control it with your phone app or something. Yeah. And you can drive it around the office. You can bump into people, you know, smash, maybe put a stick on it and they can smash your stuff around. And, and exactly. My thought was that's amazing. And then I went, no, it'll go zero to annoying in two seconds. It'll go to zero to just, Alfredo's desk in two seconds. It'll just go right over to my desk and just <laughs> yeah. keep bumping into my desk. The, the great thing about it, though, is that as it's rolling around, you could just go and right. lay it flat on its face. <laughs> you just, you just no. <laughs> what if you push it and he, like, and he just weevil wobbles and he comes back? Yeah. Could, yeah. You, could you imagine right if, back up. if we did a TTT and like and say Jeremy died immediately yeah. and then he just moseys on over <laughs> to the person that <laughs> yeah, I like that he's, that he's leaning down. He goes, for some reason, yeah, it, it's he's doing it like this. Excuse me. <laughs> and then just bumping in the person and he's like, mmm. <laughs> something as like close to the webcam as I could. Yeah. There's something like really awesome and almost adorable about when you see those little iPad things rolling around. What there was a show was it was it Community that they used? I those? was literally just thinking about that uh, episode of Community where one person on that little iPad rolly thing I think kills another person. Yeah, they tried to bump into somebody to knock them down the or stairs. Tried to or kill something them. Like that. Yeah. Uh, but just the way they kind of wobble a little bit and they're shaky, <laughs> just a little bit. And they're unstable. <laughs> they're like, I'm, and then they say something like, "I'm coming for you. You get over here. I'll kill you." <laughs> and you're just <laughs> going over gravel. They're stuck on a rock. <laughs> well, I would part- only try to hide it. Like I, I would just honestly wait till no one was looking at me and then try to drive off. Coral like this. <laughs> we lost him. Half a screen leaning around like, the corner. Where's the like, iPad? I'd be like, just oh, in a dark room. <laughs> you just see the light casting on the wall and Jeremy giggling. <laughs> you go into the bathroom. In the he's just in the stall. <laughs> yes, yeah. that's the episode where they Look had. At those. They had uh, prisoners uh, at the community college. If you haven't seen the show, they were they were getting courses via yeah. these pads, these iPads or whatever. Yeah, and then one uh, one of them tries to, I guess, push 
a person I down the Je stairs. I think it was Jeff Winger. Yeah, by, down the stairs. by just uh, bumping into him. Yeah. That show probably has the best ten pole episodes of any oh, show. Absolutely. I mean, like the D and D episode, oh, uh, the Halloween, the paintball. Halloween one, the paintball, paintball one. Like these are just like massive episodes that are so well done. Hundred like, percent. Yeah, oh, I, yeah. I, I love that P, show for sure. That. And musical one as well. I mean, the list goes on. There's apparently a lot of drama surrounding that show that I never knew about. Yeah. With six seasons in a movie. Yeah. What drama are you referring to? Cast drama. Oh. Yeah, no, What? what's six seasons in a movie? Oh, that's just like a, a meme oh. inside the yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, six seasons um, in a movie. No, yeah, I don't know about the, the dramas. It's, it's the, the Dish uh, the Goss. What's the guy's name? Chevy Chase. Ch uh, Chevy, Chevy Chase? Chevy Chase, yeah. Chevy Chase, yeah. How Chevy. Chevy. Problematic. Yeah. Chevy. Yeah. Chevy. <laughs> God damn it, Jeremy. We're not even here. Oh, yeah, Mickey Chase. Chase. <laughs> Give him a break. I'm right next to you. <laughs> Honda Chase, my favorite actor. Honda Chase. Yeah. But that, that's uh, that's just like some of the rumors around that. And I would believe it because there was the cast change. Mm -hmm. um, no, it was no longer in the, I guess, final season or something uh, like that. The, and, uh, I forget where, um, they, where he like dropped the, off. He dropped I think it was off, season like, four or five. Like two seasons, I think. Before, One yeah. of the characters, Troy, Troy either, um, and I'm for Childish Game being a, why am I blanking on his name? Um, um, but he dropped. I, I oh just gosh. as soon as I thought Childish Gambino, no. why, I lost why are the we, name. Google it. No one, no one look at chat. Don't look at chat. Don't look at chat. No, we, uh, Donald look, we got Glover. this. No. It's gonna Donald Glover. Donald yeah. Glover. Yes. Oh, thank yes. God. Oh, yes. God. I, I, don't, I, I know him by you, Childish so much because I listen to him so much. You blanked out and it just spread. <laughs> yeah, how did all four of down the line and everyone caught it. Stop working So like, they both dropped out, I think the same season. And my brain wants to say five, but I think I think you're right with four, because one was mid-season and one was yeah. at the end of the season. It was one seasons. silently disappeared, and the other one had this big bon voyage yep. uh, as they went out sailing yeah. with the... Uh, and then I think there was a different showrunner for the following season because the it was just different. The show yeah. was like, pop, it was like, I don't know, it just like the color popped um, for the show, and, the, and it was very like, I don't know, more mainstream, I would say. Yeah, the, and then they brought it. They, they kind of tried to be what they were, but the cynicism and the dark humor and the style of writing yeah. just were missing because I don't think, da I think Dan Harmon was removed from it, <laughs> Childish Tycoon. <laughs> uh, that's I think awesome. Dan Harmon got Talented. in some hot water so that he Man. was pulled off of the project and yeah. other people tried to come in with similar references and, and mm -hmm. like pop culture references, but like if you don't have the same angle, because like Dan Harmon has a very unique writing style yeah. and uh, it just felt, yeah, it just felt a little artificial. It's, yeah, it's a fantastic show, mm -hmm. so watch it. Um, Troy and Abe was pretty much oh. Tim and Alfredo, like when we <laughs> first see when we first like worked at IGN. I it can was see a lot that. of us like, oh, no one's in the studio. Let's go like film something. <laughs> like, can we go in there? <laughs> like, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and then people would come in like, what are you guys doing? And it's like, oh, nothing. <laughs> uh, that was us. Because we were like, oh, we have access to better cameras and stuff. Because we were already filming stuff uh, way before then with all of our school projects. Right. Like, can we make a video out of it? But we were like, oh, look at these big boy cameras. So we would like look at them and try to figure them out and, and test and see and like try and work with like lighting and stuff like that. And some of, like test some of our ideas and everything like mm -hmm. that. Um, when you think back to IGN, I mean, I know you and Tim have a long history of making awesome content, but like, what is the quintessential, like, maybe secret project or like pilot idea that you guys put together? And, and can I, we see it? And can we see it? <laughs> uh, I love ooh. the little leaks. You kind of dish them out in little, in little we, drops on Twitter sometimes. We had, I would say, probably like Troy the Johnson. one that was very much like Tim and Alfredo is we did a thing called like Shit Gamers Say. We just went through like a list of like all kinds of things that like gamers say in, in like video games. That Boggers. was very much like the. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> I like your, your eyes roll. Oh, that was a good. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I would say that was very much like Tim and Alfredo stuff. Um, but some of the bigger projects that we got to work on that we never thought we, we would was like we did like an Avengers boy band video. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, I think I saw that yeah, actually. Yeah. I played. Hulk and you played was, Hulk. That was, yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Dude, look, both God. you guys with the like the short hair. Dude, okay. Well, Why look, that, where's the earrings? Why'd you drop yeah, them? Where'd they go? I mean, not, uh, you know, they, went with the, they went with the look and the times. I just remember like, look, we're some in hot Texas. boys right here. Yeah, yeah. 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 We, we saw like all our cool Asian oh, friends man. and they had their <laughs> shaved heads. Yeah. But then like with, <laughs> yeah. with like, our, like like I said, we had all our cool Asian friends and like they had their shaved hair, but their hair like 
you know, it's it's different, like different it's, texture, different right? texture and everything. Mm -hmm. So theirs sure. spiked up really well, and if we cut ours down, it didn't. It looked fluffy and gross, <laughs> so we just kept going down. Yeah, yeah, we ran with that look. Yeah, oh, I man. mean they yeah they allowed us to do maybe too many stupid things, and I think I've told this story before. But one of the dumbest things that they allowed us to do, uh, I think it was like the second Mass Effect game. Um, uh, who this guy Effect? would know. EA, I, never, right? I never played uh, any. Uh, it was like, okay. You're a Mass Effect fan, e right? EA does Mass Effect, right? <laughs> yes, I do, EA does. I do like Mass Effect. Bioware? Yeah. Bio Effect. Was it Bioware? Bioware EA, right? Yeah. But the I second Mass Effect yeah. game, for like the promotion, they were like, we're going to launch early copies into like, you know, up into, I guess, the outer, in the inner atm outer atmosphere. Something like that. I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> Gravity, expensive. So they were going to launch it off a balloon, like yeah. balloon stuff like that. Wherever it lands, you go, you track it. And oh, yeah, like, cool. You go get it. And so it landed, the wind caught it, and it landed like in the middle of the woods and forest and everything. And we went out there. Yeah. Um, you filmed that. Just and filming it and everything like that. And they were like taking everything that we were filming it and putting it and tracking it up onto the site, like as it was happening. Oh. And then. So it's not live feed, but like. Live in chunks, like yeah. this is what we just would happened. record something, and oh, then wow. they would toss it up, put the metadata, make a thumbnail That's out of right. it, and then put it up right away. Yeah, which is pretty interesting. And then um, we kind of got to the point where we we're like, oh my god, all right. So we think it's like way out in the woods, so we're gonna go check it out. And then that was the second to the last thing that we sent, because the last thing we sent was Tim like on video, and this is all like on the internet that you can find. Tim just going like, we're in the middle of the woods. We're lost, and I think I think Alfredo got poison ivy, and I'm like, I'm itching, man! And then, I'm dying. And then we lost internet connection, we lost cell data, and they didn't hear from us for like four hours. Yeah. So we had like Nick Scarpino and El because oh, Nick yeah, worked yeah. kind of funny too. Right. There was like, why did we let these two idiots out there? Like, uh, why did we think? Why did we think these two idiots could be out there unsupervised? Yeah. Like, we haven't heard from them for hours. All that we know is that they're lost in the woods, and Alfredo. Fredo might have poison ivy. Like, <laughs> dude, it was. Uh, he died of poison ivy. Yeah. It was very tragic. That's the perfect cliffhanger. Just, his lungs. just be like, I think we're lost. I. Anyway, we'll report soon. <laughs> Nothing. 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 They were just so worried. Can but you, Is it possible to die? How are you guys ivy? so fast? Yeah, what, what is that? What is so that? Oh, that I was, was the. Oh, yeah, Mass Effect 3. That was the copy. They, like, oh launched. How did they get that? They, so like, quick? launched them into the air and then. There was a GPS tracker on it, and there was a site for us to go track it. No, I just yeah. wanted to try. I just wanted. Yeah, there was, there was a, a button I wanted hit to hit. That nut. Yeah, nut. there it is. But yeah, we're, we good. tracked them down. I was gonna say that sounds like the beginning of a horror film. We that were, sounds like you are itching for some Blair Witching. You know what I'm saying? Horror. So I got out of there before. So That's now. rhyme. I got out of there Put in that time. That back pocket. It's good. It's good. It's good. That's it's pretty good. cool. I, I like when uh, game companies do like real world stuff like that. Uh, it's just fun. Like. Right now, I've been playing so much more Binding of Isaac again. Mm, mm -hmm. But they had a new character they wanted to launch in the game. This was a long time ago. And to do it, they set up the craziest shit. I, I forget how exactly it started, but somewhere in the game, you could find like a four-letter code. And then they went on to a pier in LA somewhere and put a missing poster on a pole with a picture of Isaac and a phone number that was missing the four last digits. And people found out if you found that poster, called the number, it would read off a sentence. And then if you took the first letter of each word in that sentence oh and made it a number, like A is one, B is two type thing. Oh, gosh. Took all those numbers. It made geographical coordinates. Oh, my God. And if you went to those coordinates, it was like in the desert somewhere. What? You could dig up um, a little uh, dude, like uh, that was a little figure of the new <laughs> character. And written across it was like a password and stuff that you could go on Twitter and log in. And then you had the the account for this character. And like the whole thing was like, give Why? this character a voice. And like, then you could message from that account by finding the character. It was a whole wow. fucking thing. So like, and then it released Halo in the game. Halo do the like iHeart Bees and stuff like that? Yep. I wonder Halo too. if there's like just enough of those. And maybe it doesn't make sense. Um, what the like hell? A, that's weird. If I dug that's that out in the desert, that. I'm, I'm that's running. That's what they dug up. I'm yeah. running. I'm, I'm, cool, I'm cool desert. without finding that. I yeah, I'm I don't cool without it. that. Also, <laughs> enough in my life. Very interesting um, ring. 
It's got hey, like you know the what that silver is? and the yeah, wood yeah. in the middle. Like, it's got some like, what do we got? That almost looks like a cozy walnut. sweater yeah. we got going on. And maybe, is that a scarf oh, sweetness? Look oh, at that. Oh my God. Look at that, a little maroon. Oh, I wonder oh. like if there's enough of those like thing, like <laughs> so those kind of like video game things to do. Cause we have like, we have Red Web where we dive into like all these things. Yeah, we've tapped like, some ARGs. I don't know if it would make sense to do like a, cause we have some mini episodes to do yeah. like a short episode that talks about like video game stuff and all the crazy we should i think we should it can happen i don't um, know if that fits into like the red web verse but i think I, it does in a bit i mean we've done some like junko Junsui, right and mm -hmm. some other args spoiler alert if you haven't listened to that episode but like we've done some pretty crazy args but it, i think it'd be nice to just go down the path of like let's let's tap into that clover field let's tap into the halo 2 maybe Bi binding of isaac there or whatever just like there's so many cool args yeah and i know a lot of our listeners are obviously gamers so i feel like there's a natural overlap maybe some bonus i really hope there is a kid named isaac out there who goes to school every day and says these are Isaac's binders. <laughs> the bindings of Isaac. There you go. Go All right, down, I'm going to go ahead and Maybe, maybe, maybe Isaac is into bondage, and he likes go to be the sub. Isaac. <laughs> so, well, he's like, bind me. Hey, guys, I want to let you know that this episode of Off Topic is brought to you by DoorDash. Have you ever been halfway home after going to the grocery store and you realize you forgot that one thing, the thing you went to the grocery store for in the first place? It's annoying, and you don't want to make that drive again, turn around and go back. You don't want to look like an idiot when you get back home and have to explain to the family, no, I forgot that thing. So stop doing that and just use DoorDash. That's right. You can now get grocery store essentials that you need with DoorDash. You can get drinks, snacks, and other household items delivered in under an hour right to your dorm. With over 300,000 partners in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, good eye, good eye, there's something for Everyone from all over the world. Ordering is easy. You just fire up the DoorDash app. You choose what you want from where you want, and your items will be left safely outside your door with their contactless delivery drop-off setting. Uh, I always get my dinner from DoorDash, especially on Wednesdays, uh, on chump days, because, you know, when I'm doing that show, I just can order the food and be like, hey, have it here at this time. I can schedule when I want it to be dropped off. And then when I'm done filming the show, I know I can just go downstairs and there's a hot meal waiting for me right outside the door because uh, it gets there quickly. And the app lets me know when it is arriving. So whatever food I want, I can just pick it and know that it's going to be there by the time I'm done doing whatever it is that I'm doing. It's uh, very useful, very safe. And uh, very convenient. So for a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter the code OFFTOPIC2021. That's 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter the code OFFTOPIC2021. Don't forget... That's code off topic 2021 for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change and terms apply. Thank you, DoorDash. And now back to the show. Find me, I'm Isaac. <laughs> Dude, I mean, yeah, speaking, <laughs> speaking that's speaking all I can of, think uh, about for some reason. <laughs> speaking of uh, all that uh, bondage stuff. Talking about the cast, uh, Keenan and Kel, all no, so that. Like, like, uh, speaking uh, of bondage. Speaking of bondage, and I, um, where is this going to go? Lori Beth the, Timberg. No, the, uh, that new Resident Evil came out. Ooh, and, uh, I've been so sleeping on it. I know Michael, Matt, and Lindsay, the, you know, they've been streaming it all week, you know, trying to get mm -hmm. the whole playthrough uh, live for you guys, and that'll go up too as well. Um, awesome. But I was playing it, and uh, Jeremy was I didn't, <laughs> Jeremy was watching. It's like I was I in was, my hotel room. <laughs> he was, Jeremy was in all his right. hotel room, and I didn't know he was watching. And he <laughs> came in. And then, you know, you know, big tall vampire ladies, yeah, you know, walks yeah, yeah. in and my camera just zooms into my face and I just lean back and she's like, she's like, do you think you can get away from me? I'm like, no, no, I don't want to get away from you. No, take me. <laughs> take me. <laughs> the whole time I was like, no, yes, yes. Oh, and she like threw the table. I'm like, throw me like you threw the table. <laughs> I look at Jeremy was in channel I'm like, oh. Uh. <laughs> hey, Jeremy. The way, the way it busted in is I came in, Fredo was playing the game and I said something in the chat or whatever. And people were like, hey, Jeremy's doing And Fredo goes, oh, hey, Jeremy, we're trying to get stepped on. 
And then I wrote, uh, and then I wrote, okay, I'm out. And I'm like, <laughs> said like, well, I'm out. And then later on, he did that thing where the the lady was there and he was doing that, like, oh yes, oh, like please notice me. And because um, your character's like hiding outside a window, and he's like, just look out the window, I'm right here. And um, I just wrote in the chat, stop. Get some help. <laughs> is, she, is she an evil character? I don't know the, the plot. Yes. Okay. yes. yes She's she like is. the lead evil, right, of this, of this family? I'm just happy that tall women are getting some uh, much earned respect and uh, are being seen as these like love beautiful it. goddesses. It. It's, yeah. about, just, it's about time. Yeah. Just pick me up. Just pick, pick me up, <laughs> lay me down, Throw me put down. me to rest, like down. kill me, like Riding stop. Riding over with a steamroller. Smash my skull in, put me to sleep, you there eight foot is. tall Amazonian princess. Yes, death by snooze. That's her. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful yeah. goddess. Oh, is that like a the woman behind her? Whoa! Like a, a I didn't. I never saw that person. <laughs> Holy oh, yeah. damn! Holy shit! There's God. A there's two. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. There's a. Uh, that either puts it into perspective or whatever. Like, I don't know if this person yeah, back here like is, a, is hip, an average really. height. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. That would be like nine foot something. That oh, would be a really fun cosplay to do at a convention because if you have the dress that goes all the way down, you could wear like either huge heels or like stilts. Oh, yeah, that's true. I bet you. Or I, I, I'll just have someone on my shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you mean you don't want to be the I'll face, be Jeremy? Legs. You don't want to be the top part? <laughs> <laughs> you just hear a, a coo. Uh, did your uh, nethers hey. just sneeze? <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. Someone wrote Dommy Mommy. <laughs> Dommy Mommy. Dommy Mommy. I've heard a lot of Dommy Mommy. <laughs> Yeah. That is there, amazing. There was, a, there was a scene where you are essentially you know, you're running away from her, and you know you're weaving through like pillars and stuff like that, and you have to like open this door, you know, and get to this door and open it, and it takes a little bit of time. And I'm like running from her, like, oh no, don't don't catch me! And then I like yeah. open the door. <laughs> And then she comes, you know, she comes chasing me. So I had to do a lap around the pillar. Mm -hmm. So I did a lap around the pillar. And then I got up, you know, I walked up. And then to my left was the door. And then to my right, there she was. But since I looped around the pillar, um, I looked, I looked right, saw her. Then I looked left. And then I went, wait. Oh my God, there she is. And she had her back turned and she was going around the back. So I was like, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I like ran out the door. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I was like, I love you, I love you, I love you. <laughs> you just pause and like for a split second, it's like it's like Quicksilver where and like music is playing and your eyes glow and your hair is blowing and you're like, oh, yeah, like and it's all in a split second as you're like, oh, and then you run away. Dude, I saw this. I think I it was a crush you guys with her tits. <laughs> just like, I wish that was a way she could kill him like that Newton's game. Like cradle, and it just. <laughs> yeah, just. I, I, just like, I don't know. There's I a woman get, that can I do can't that. I can't get past this part. I just keep dying. Oh yeah. There's a woman that can like. <laughs> I, she I love breaks, it though. <laughs> she breaks cylinder, uh, 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 cinder blocks with her her Whoa. cleavage. She goes. Bah! With her cleavage. Yeah. yeah. It's with her, it's with, her with her breast. Just takes one breast. Yeah, and she like takes it, and then she goes. And like just yeah. slaps down. Yeah, right. she gets it's in there. Insane. Yeah, so yeah. Th so that can happen. It looks horrific. If you've got dreams. Yeah. We can try to make oh. it happen. Maybe they're watching. But there was a, there was. A <laughs> I'm not saying. Yeah, start working those things out. <laughs> that actually hurt. <laughs> Would not recommend, ladies. Uh -uh. Dude, there was there's a mod though. Just speaking of of um, the enormous beautiful woman in in the game. Uh, where you are running away, and I don't know much about the game. I, I'm sleeping on it for now, but I would love to play it. Um, and the mod is, I don't know what you're holding. I think it maybe is a knife, mm. uh, is your weapon. And they're running away from, this, from the woman, and if you get close, she does the thing where her fingernails, or her fingers, or whatever, grow, and she swipes at you. And in that moment, it's a, basically a stagger. And if you dodge that, or get out of the way, she's, she kind of like stalls for a second. So what, do you, what this guy would do is run around, uh, and then you, they had a spatula was the mod instead of a knife. So he'd run around, get up behind and go, <laughs> and like spank her <laughs> oh, and then run away. Oh. And like, so, so he's running around the room going, ding, 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 ha, ha. I, I saw that and it was amazing. I saw it because Ify did like a TikTok on it where that video played and it's just Ify. There it is. I think, oh, I think it is a TikTok. Yeah, there I think TikTok. there's one with like a spoon I think, yeah, too. It's on but like Ify, like it does, it plays the video Yeah. and then it cuts to Iffy, like, in the bathroom, dripping with sweat, like, super close up, like, like hair up, and just going, 
how, how, yo, how do I, how do I get that mod? How do I get that mod? Someone tell me where, how do I get that mod? I was like, this man. Oh my God. He's like, how do I get that mod? Is it from like a super low angle too? It was a low angle. Dude. Oh <laughs> my God. He is so up. funny. If yeah. Oh man, I love that man. And they I mean, were, so, so we're talking about, um, what was it, the uh, the angle. And I think I said yeah. this before, but there was that one TTT where like if if he's late or something like that, like like I'll te I like you know if and I will talk on the phone or we'll text or something like that. So I was like, I got it. I'll text yeah. Ify. And so Ify sent me a text saying like, Yo, you know, be there in two minutes. Then a picture of him like this, butt naked <laughs> on the toilet. And I went, Dude, what the? I was like, Dude, what? What? He's like, Don't worry. I checked all the angles. And I was like, I checked all the angles. He zooms in. Right. So, so like you couldn't you couldn't see he didn't in there them. because it was like the, you know it was like this. I was like, sure. oh my god! But he was like, yo, it's good. I checked all the angles. It's kosher. Get but your then, eyes in there. But then I went, <laughs> Ify, did you know this is a live video? And he went, Ooh! oh no, he went, no, 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 he went, no, 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 and so you can go scroll through the frames and you can pick, even hear what's pick going which on one too. you want. Yeah, and hear what you want too. So he, yeah. I was, he was like, no, 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 no. I didn't, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to send a live photo. No, no, no. And I was like, <laughs> oh, I didn't think about that, did you? <laughs> That's so funny. I'm, I'm trying to find a photo now. I'm going to scroll through my Twitter and see if it's in the DMs or if it was a text. But the same thing happened, very similar. Not, not a live photo or any nudity, but, uh, or not, not as much nudity. Um, Steven Suptic one time, we were trying to record a video. This was several years ago. Um, and I was like, hey, dude, where are you at? Like, just checking in on you, making sure you're good with the tech and whatnot. Because it was one of those Let's Play family ones where we were going to have one person from all these different teams come in, and, uh, and it was Friday the 13th. Anyway, um, he texted back with a photo of him in the shower. He's in the shower, water hitting him, coming down and everything. He's like, just taking a quick shower, be right there. And, he, and he's just like dead face. Like, no. I'm like, these guys, hilarious. They've got their they've got their finger on the pulse of something, and I don't know what it is, but I I'm living for it. But it was a live photo. Uh, no, his wasn't a live photo, uh, but it was just like it was just really funny how. Just the oh, coffee to send something well, like that. Well, there was a. Right. Oh, it's worth pointing out. Uh, I want to point <laughs> out before we get away from the iffy thing, because I was about to say the so same serious. story. Like I was about to start that same one, uh, but I remember the text he sent you before it. It wasn't. Oh, I'll be right that we hear you said I'm finishing up a side quest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm finishing a side quest. Dude. It was him on the toilet. Uh, there was oh, a, just effortlessly funny. He's oh, so yeah, funny. He is. There was a, a video I saw um, of this guy who texted his girlfriend like, oh, I, I miss you. He was at a hotel, I guess, for work or whatever, and had, I think, like a stuffed animal or something that belonged to her that he put on the bed and took a picture being like, oh, I really miss you. It was a live photo. And literally, like the last two frames of it was another woman falling onto the bed, like <gasps> laughing. So oh, it was just like, oh, yikes, dude. Also, That's so bad. good that he got caught. Right. I was going to say that <laughs> that live yeah. photo saved Holy that relationship shit. right there in terms of. We're, there's like live the photos can oopsies <laughs> show a little bit too much. And then there's live photos that are like, expose, you, you bitch. Yeah. Like, got you. God. Good. In that case, fuck that. No, yeah. yeah I was going to say yeah. it's. Damn. Well, glad she found out. I thought you were gonna say like maybe it was one of those like, hey, here's my apartment. Oh no! Oh, oh my oh, god! Uh, he says he misses uh, you, but then you took a live yeah, photo. Yeah. <gasps> awful. Awful. Oh my god! I thought I thought what you were going with was like in the nudity realm, like you know where where people are like I'm selling my dresser, and in the background there's a fucking mirror and yeah. like the person's <laughs> full ass in the buff going, look at my dresser, I'm selling this. Bro. But they've got like they're they're meat and bits. The meat and two veg hanging out. Meat and potatoes for I some mean, people. Like, hanging. Here's here's yeah. the thing. There's no way, no way to talk yourself out of this at no, you're all. Just, uh, you can't there's be a, like, there's you a go, woman uh, on the bed and she is having a fantastic time. Uh, it's, you are it's you. dead. <laughs> well, it's uh, that's it's you. also like the thing that really stings about this shit is like, I. I know relationships like that where you like take a photo of this really sweet thing and it's like I miss you and I have this little thing that reminds you of and then this fucking person is in here and it's like how do you possibly get around that? You're soiling the yeah. the, the little guy. 
Well, it's just like... <laughs> so you're getting up in his atmosphere, ruining what that thing stands for. Is that a lamb? Or he a, didn't deserve it. Lamb. Yeah. <laughs> that little no, guy. But, but like, that's such an extreme of like, yeah. you think someone is like fully in to what is ever like happening in that yeah. relationship, and then it just mm-hmm. hangs. It's I like, was in shame. a... Like, I was in a hotel room for uh, when I flew down for the spring-summer event that we just did. And the same night that I was watching Fredo on Twitch, so I had him on on my phone. Like, I had his stream up on my phone because on my laptop, I was playing Isaac. And I was playing this certain character that gets hit a lot in the game. And when Isaac gets hit in the game, it goes, ah! Like that. <laughs> and, and, I had the, and I had the volume up really loud because I was like... I, I wanted to hear it as well for certain, you know, cues in the game. And I also had Fredo up. And then so the game's going like, eh, 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 like <laughs> No, dude. And I realized at one point I was like, oh my God, it's like, it's like midnight. It's like, you know, 12 or like, tw- and I'm like, and I'm playing this pretty loud. And I'm like, someone must be hearing this and going, what the hell is happening in that room? And then if someone came in the room, they would have seen me with the game paused at a certain point. Watching Fredo with a thing of mac and cheese sitting alone. <laughs> like, it would have been like the most disappointing sight. In the world. <laughs> like, Dude, I, there's so many times I would bad. not want to be a fly on the wall of my own life. I'd be like, oh, right no now, way. like you're saying, Jeremy, I feel like this is my lowest point. I got this like game yep. going, ah! and I got this man, this co worker of mine going, step on me. And I'm just eating a bowl of mac and cheese by myself. <laughs> I thought Jerry was going to be like, oh, yeah, you know, I was going to send, like, a really cute loving photo to Kat, and then as a live photo, and you just touch it, and, oh, and Alfredo's in the background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Alfredo's there in the back. Dude, because the same night, right before I started watching your stream, Fredo, I w- had Kat's stream on, because Kat was streaming something else, like, before that, and then she ended it, and I went over to your stream, and, like, um, I kept writing in the chat, and I was writing, like, really nice things to her. I was be like, oh, I love that girl right there, and stuff like that. But Aww. she kept somehow expertly, like, looking at the chat and reading other people's messages and missing mine. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> I, I, I was just shouting in the chat, like, notice my love, like, in all capitals. How does it stuff. feel to get rejected by your own wife? Yeah, why? It's brutal. And so I, I wrote, fine, I'm just going to eat mac and cheese and watch Fredo Street. <laughs> <laughs> Her, a picture of me crying and eating macaroni and cheese. Dude. <laughs> Just like crying and eating. <laughs> it, was a, it was a long night. There was a lot happening. I, I have the same kind of timing. I feel like anytime I raid somebody, that's like, I'm going to go take a poo. I'll be right back. Tread, just raid it. I'm like, damn it. There was one time. <laughs> I'll come back and see someone else. And I'll be. There was one time you raided Iffy. I think ex- yeah. like that like, the exact Iffy. scenario was happening. Iffy was on a side quest for sure. You you raided him, and then I think as the raid was like queuing up, I yeah. think someone in your chat was like, "Oh, he's AFK right now." I said, and "Whatever, then, we're sending it." It was so that funny. That is the definition of AFK. I love that it dude. It's so that funny definition. to see because like then it switches over to his stream, and it's so funny to see like all your people come in like, "Uh, oh, Turtle Club, Club Turtle, yeah, just what's a up?" Wave of, yeah. And like an empty <laughs> chair <laughs> just sitting. <laughs> well, it happened to me when I read it. Iffy. It's yeah, yep. I've been there. I mean, my chat now has like a command for my empty chair. I get up for five seconds. They're all about my chair taking over the show. So that just transferred over there. Kai had a really awesome, like, she produced her own, like, birthday stream a few weeks oh, ago. So it, it was awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was, it was, I was happy to be a part of it. But I, I rated her right at the end because I was like, she's doing her final bit. She's raising money for charity. You guys crushed the goal. She's going to take a cake to the face. Let's get over there. And, like, I think I rated in the mi- midst of all that. So she missed it. But, uh, but yeah, I, I just have, like, a little knack for sniping those little uh, yeah, right. AFK moments. <laughs> That's the wrong moments. Because she was getting the cake, I think, at that time. <laughs> mm-hmm. This episode of Off Topic is brought to you by me, Undy. Summer is right around the corner, which means it's about to get uncomfortably hot, especially for, uh, especially for my friends over in Austin, Texas. Uh, they got it rough. When it gets hot outside, it gets really hot outside. It's like when it rains, it pours, but with heat instead of rain. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, either way, sometimes you just want to sit around in your underwear to uh, try to deal with some of that heat. Well, me, Undies is making this the summer of comfort. And that means it's time to get comfy and express yourself in undies with a classic style, bold colors, and fun prints. Uh, Me undies are super, super soft. They always look great, and they come in a lot of fun designs, so you always feel like you're wearing something unique. 
you're always uh and you're always wearing something comfortable and when times get really hot outside and you can get really uncomfortable if you're not wearing clothes that are especially designed to you know let stuff breathe and uh you know keep you feeling cool then you're gonna be in a bad way so make sure to get yourself some clothes that help with that, like Me Undies does. Me Undies makes it easy to match two. You can match your bottom half to your better half. That's right. You can match your partner and your friends uh, by getting the same prints, the same designs, all kinds of fun stuff like that. And a pro tip for pet owners, you can also get a matching bandana for your dog. So if you want your undies to match their bandana, that is something that you can do. It has a great offer for our listeners who never experienced the glory of me undies before. Any first time purchasers get 15% off and free shipping. Me undies also has their problem free philosophy, uh, which is a tongue twister for me. Problem free philosophy. Hakuna Matata, everybody. If you're not satisfied with any product for any reason, they'll refund or exchange it. No caveats and no questions. To get 15% off your first order and free shipping, go to meundies.com slash off topic. That's meundies.com slash off topic. Uh, start appreciating your undies with some fun designs and true comfort with me undies. Thank you. And now back to the podcast. Talk about birthday <clears throat> streams. I had... Uh, a birthday stream yesterday. Yes. Because uh, Tuesday was my birthday. Um, the 11th, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, and She'll so, remember that. She's really good with those dates. So what I decided to do, I decided, I was like, look, birthday stream, we're going to have a super calm, very chill, relaxing evening mm, yeah. of games with Jackie, Michael, nope, already done. and Lindsay <laughs> playing Super Mario Party. Yes. Because I knew that that was going to be relaxing. something. Now, that's zen right <laughs> I there. I yeah. say, that's the opposite. So, the, you know, the stream was on Wednesday. <clears throat> Tuesday, we are like, we got to test out Super Mario Party because, you know, we played it. Um, you know, Jeremy, Michael, Lindsay, and I played it for uh, an achievement or Let's Play. Remotely. And that's cool. that video, I think, will be up. I think it's up already. Um, I think it's already up. It's yeah. a, that was a good video. Uh, but it was laggy because the internet was just weird for some reason. So we were like, we, we said to ourselves, let's test it out on Tuesday. So we all jumped on, jumped on Discord, tested it. We we're like, all right, let's just test it out. And the first thing you, one of the first things you do is roll to see who goes first. I go land on a uh, an item block, get like the red mushroom. Uh, so I get to move like, you know, an extra couple spaces. Michael goes, <laughs> lands, gets a couple of coins. Granted, this is a test. Yeah. Jackie rolls, lands right next to me, gets the uh, gets an item, six block, and she just, she, fucking Jackie, super competitive, just goes, yeah, I got a better item, fuck you! <laughs> I was like, full send. This is a, this well, that's right like, in. It ain't I was a like, race. This is a test. <laughs> and then I was like, this is a test. And then Michael goes, man, that block's amazing. And he was like, what does it do? And she was like, well, yeah, I get to, it's a six. I get to, you know, it's a six dice, so I get to go six spaces. And I'm like, nope, that's not what it is. <laughs> so I was like, you were so hyped about what you got. We didn't even know what, what it was. was. It then? You get to choose between one and six. Oh. So well, that, still for Jackie, that's yeah. like basically a six. I'm going all the way. That was the precursor to last night, which was pure fucking chaos. And we were all taking bets. Everyone's chats were taking bets of like how fast until Jackie yells. Mm. And literally we're all rolling. <laughs> we're, all, we're all rolling to see who goes first. I roll get like a five. Michael rolls gets like a four. Lindsay rolls gets like a, a three. Jackie rolls gets a one and just fuck and like super loud. I'm like, well that lasted 30 seconds. That was we, 30 we, fucking, it was almost a contest. 30 <laughs> fucking seconds. That being said, that n She's last night was pure chaos because again, Jackie straight A's in nursing school, but when she's gaming, she's super competitive and she just full sends all of her yeah, thoughts. Yeah. Well, that means but, she's competitive in school too. She wants to do the best she could do. Yeah, so that she, is true. She's got to turn off like the logic. Good stuff. Turn off the smarts. Yeah, she, you know, she, she we just turns it off it. and just goes, I'm full sending it. But right. there are two moments. Um, first moment where Michael, we're playing on one of the maps that has, it's the mining map and there's like a giant bomb in the middle yeah. and it'll blow up. And so Michael's, you know, on that space and he goes, oh my God, this bomb might blow me up to uh, Kingdom Come. And Jackie, drunk at this point, going, come? Kingdom Come? And he was like, <laughs> yeah, Jackie, Kingdom Come. He was like, oh, like, come. no, it's Kingdom Kong. And, he, and we all went dead silent. Kingdom Kong. And he we went, <laughs> <laughs> what? Kingdom, like, Kong. Like, Kingdom Kong! And I'm like, no, it's Kingdom Come. And she went, 
Oh, no, 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 uh, what's the word um, when you're so like your conviction is your high. Your conviction, yeah. yeah. You're just like I'm 100% sure this is right, and then to have your entire world just stripped up. Michael's of you. <laughs> really good at shaking your conviction because all it takes, all it took for me was a couple of like I am. Oh, this is it, right? The yep. Kingdom Kong or whatever, <laughs> and then like, but I know he's gonna lay all over that thing, yep. and so now I'm like. How many times did he bring it up? It's this, right? <laughs> oh, I mean, we're just we, the, the rest of the that map. We just kept saying, "Oh, you're getting conged," or like, you know, "He's conging it up." But oh, the, baby, I'm gonna kong. The other, the <laughs> other <laughs> moment we had was I don't know if they could pull up the picture. There's a picture of it uh, on my Twitter. But oh there's yeah. A, there's a team game where you had to like put. Mario's eyes and his mouth and I saw your clip this morning. how accurate you can be either right mm -hmm. the, the more accurate team wins so Michael and I we were working together Lindsay Jackie working together and if you look at the picture it was like as soon as the rating was coming up Michael and I was like oh my god theirs looks so much better you can't even yeah. see our left eye and then it pops the ratings going up they get 91%. We're like, fuck, that's so good. Like, we're screwed. And then ours goes up and goes 92%. 1% And difference. then Jackie lost her shit. <laughs> I saw she that. was upset. <laughs> she was yelling. Uh, Lindsay was yelling, too. <laughs> Michael was just like, oh, my God. And I just kept going, do you believe? Do you believe? Do you believe? Yeah, yeah there it is. This was the There's game. Five. And if you see, it's like, all right, Michael and I are on this side, the left side, working together. So Lindsay, someone does Jackie up and down, right. someone does left and right. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. the thing is, your eyes were a lot better than theirs. Yeah. So their mouth was and a bit I, low, is, the, is I, what I would wager. Well, like, I think that so you're instinctively, right? So this is about to drop. We line it up. It drops, and I go, "Holy shit, theirs looks awesome." You can't even see our it's, left eye. It's that space that I think got it for yeah. you guys. That and then the, the number space. drops, yeah. and it said ninety-two percent, and we lost our shit. I, I can see <laughs> you just running in place. <laughs> yeah, the running man. I, I was dancing because Jackie just kept going, "No, no, bullshit, bullshit," <laughs> and Michael just kept going. We did it. How does? We did. <laughs> can I ask? I don't know if you guys like what your office layout or, or whatever is, but. Does the sound, because Jackie is. She's on the wall behind me. So is it, does it bleed? <laughs> there's definitely bleed between us when like we're recording at Chief Hunter and she's doing our uh, squad team force. But like, is there bleed between the streams where she's like, ah, damn it. <laughs> there, there definitely is, because there was a moment where we played like Siege and we did like a custom game where we were playing with mm -hmm. like chat and everything. And Jackie was on the opposite team. And <laughs> there was one round I spawn in and I go, Jackie, the past three rounds has been in this exact same spot. What are the chances <laughs> that I just pre-fire that spot? So we spawn. I take five steps, shoot a bullet down where she, I think she would be. Her head just gets blown off, and she's Dude. dead. Now I just hear from the back, just, no! <laughs> and I was like, that was it. And she went back to that same spot yet again. <laughs> There's something so funny about, like, the cross. I mean, I'm the culprit in our place. Like, I'm the one that bleeds into her mic. But there's something so funny to me about hearing like a totally different energy from maybe even a different video just piping yeah. into another one where you're just like, ah, you just get a little taste. Yeah, I can't tell you how many times I've been recording something or like doing an interview for something and someone's saying, is that a, is that a cat? <laughs> that happened yesterday. Like, cat that happened cat. yesterday it's to it's me. A cat. It's, it's a cat. We got a cat now. I was doing well, an interview and they said, is that a cat? cat? And I was like, that's my, that's my boyfriend. <laughs> well, <laughs> like uh, Jeremy says all the time, right? Like, cat, nice. has, cat has meetings. But I like this. This is you. brilliant. But I like oh, this. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what you were talking about, Jeremy. Yeah, I didn't either. <laughs> no, 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 I know. I can see it before you see oh, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, Grand Tour, you know, these guys are funny. Oh my god! I love it's, the I love the great yeah. content. I love it's the show. combination of like I'm just like a a, a uh, petrol head as they call it, right? I, I love cars. Mm -hmm. I know you guys do too, but the comedy intertwined with with the car knowledge is I just love it. It's just a sweet little recipe for right. me. It, re it reminds me of Jeremy Clarkson. 
Yeah. But, there, you know. There might be yeah. Kind of like with a team owner, right? Like you watch that for the cars, but you, you get invested because of the personalities. Right. You stay for the content yeah. and the people. Oh, I just watch a Shima Hunter for the video games, nothing else. None oh. of <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I no, actually put on mute. Quality. I mute, I mute <laughs> you guys. And I just, the voices. <laughs> just watch I, the video I'm a big fan of like Could different you angles. I love a Shima Hunter. Have to watch him on mute. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine? That would be so bad. The world's <laughs> worst gamers. gameplay you can watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> Breaking dirt with a pickaxe and Minecraft and shit. <laughs> Um, did you see James May just uploaded a video the other day? Yeah. Um, Trevor, where he's complaining about his Tesla. Yup. Um, he's yelling oh. about some, like a, yeah, the battery. The Something secondary the battery. battery. Like, mm -hmm. It's a long thing to get into. Um, but there's a, a thing with the secondary battery that like lets you open the doors and stuff that is kind of a flawed design. So he's, he's like complaining about it, but in the way that James May does, which is very like, calm and very just like factual and he just says what he doesn't like and blah, blah, blah and just goes on to it and he ends the video by going so i guess in summary i'm pretty pissed off like comment and subscribe and then the video <laughs> it's, ends. it's so good <laughs> that's how he ends up it's like so I, it's good so awesome wow dude james may they're all amazing they're all amazing james may uh yeah i mean i don't care at all about cars i love that show though yeah, yeah. We, yeah. we watched it i think mm -hmm. we have to catch up on the most recent season but we there it is a couple seasons that we yeah so watch. long story short he pulls yep. the car apart to get to it and it's a software fix we're not going to dive into it it's it's interesting though his angle uh I love his YouTube channel. I, don't, I haven't watched it in a while, but I love, like, he can take the driest fucking material yep. and make it fascinating yeah. because he actually cares. Yep. And it's informative and he's funny and he's personable. He did a cooking thing, like, in his in his kitchen one time. That was great. And I think I watched, like, a 30, 45-minute video of him putting together a legitimate model train from scratch, like, from the beginning all the way up through. And you, he even has to build the motor itself. Oh, and, he, yeah. and I think he pitched it as a TV show. And I'm like... This is never going to go anywhere, but the this is like the only guy that can yep. carry a show like this. Mm -hmm. and, and it's just like, man, say what you will about like, I mean, you don't have to like cars or whatever, right? But they're just like very deeply talented. Well, it's just also the way they <clears throat> format that show, it's just so fascinating. Like it, it, you don't have to care about cars or really know much about cars to enjoy what they're doing because mm -hmm. it's just like so good there. premise. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, love I saw someone in chat said, uh, I can't, I, I don't know what they're saying. I have them muted. <laughs> what a good podcast go. yeah. i listen to their audio podcast <laughs> mute yeah <laughs> on mute, on mute yeah. audio mute. podcast on mute so it's just <laughs> yeah. playing on your phone just like... uh, thanks Dude, for the metrics uh, <laughs> i don't know if you used to watch because i know grand tour is really good but i i know like trevor you used to watch like all the uh oh yeah top gears mm -hmm. like when it had that that crew in there um there's this one clip it's like a clip that i always go back to and watch because it, it still makes me laugh every time of when they were like driving through the mud in some area and uh jeremy clarkson was like i got an idea of how to make sure um like that i don't get stuck anymore and it was to tie a, a log right to the back of the car so it would drag a log behind it so that if he got that. stuck he could roll back right. onto the log because he couldn't break and then get traction off of that yeah, he, yeah. i think he, he, he couldn't get traction or he couldn't break and it would catch him Anyway, right. So it would like, so yeah, it would like, you know, he'd let the car just kind of slide back. It would hit the hit the log, and then he could get traction off the log and keep going. So he'd constantly have this source of traction behind him. And <laughs> as he's driving, he's going. Sometimes I'm like scared of my own genius. Like, 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 <laughs> I love how he says genius. <laughs> like he's got that genius deep presenter yeah. voice. Genius is yeah. genius. Yeah. Genius is unparalleled. And as he's doing that, the log is bouncing. It bounces sideways, <laughs> pops up, and smashes through his yeah. window. Yeah. It's, the it's like, it. It just it's goes like, right through. Dude, it's, it's so well produced. The editing and the timing of the editing exactly. is it's a, it's chef's kiss. It is right. so well produced, but there's so many good moments you just can't write. And yeah. I, I live for those yep. things. They have great timing. Genius <laughs> is the a is bit scary. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> so it's just this so bed back good. there, because that's where they're sleeping, so there's a bunch of glass in the Oh, yep. my God. Yep. God. He's like, he's like, I got glass on my duvet. <laughs> one of the, there's so it's many awesome. like quintessential mo moments to point to, but one of the ones that I really loved, I loved their t their their specials, um, which is essentially mm -hmm. what Grand Tour has become. It's purely the t the Top Gear specials kind of, but 
I don't remember, maybe you would remember Jeremy, and I, I want to say it was like Vietnam, but they are yeah. you remember going Vietnam. Through, <laughs> yeah. They're going I remember through, the, I've been I've been there. Yep. Yeah. I remember the Hueys going overhead. They're going through yeah. the jungle and there's always like when your car breaks down, you can stop and fix it, they ditch you. <laughs> or there is a just a terrible car that they give you if your car is fully kaput. And in this particular episode, again, I'm not sure which one it is. Maybe the chat will help me. Um, they're going along, and way behind them, every now and then, what crests around the mountain turn is this, like, <laughs> I think it was a motorcycle or some little quad bike. That it was, was a moped. Yeah, a little thing. moped uh, all decked out in American <laughs> flags and gear, and it would blast, born in the USA, is blasting. Because if they got that, if they're like, hey, you could ditch your car, but you got to drive that in this country, go to like, yeah, be like, yeah, America. But they're obviously English, <laughs> and, uh, and it would blast that, and off they would go. And it was just the way that they brought that together was so funny because every time, God, it's beautiful. Every time somebody's car went down, it was like a monster. There it is. Oh it was like a monster God. cresting yeah, around the turn. So annoying. <laughs> yeah, they would be like, "Oh no, there it's coming!" And they go, "I don't want that. I don't want the car. I don't want the moped." <laughs> it's like just blasting that side. And yep. like wow. they, they just fuck with each other too. Like yeah. the, the stuff they do to each other in that show, just to mess with each other's cars, is incredible. And like there was one where Hammond had gotten sick at night, right? And he had like the squirts. Like, yeah. He got yeah. really, like, he got really too. sick. And they didn't know. So, like, that same night, while he was sick somewhere else, um, James May and, and Clarkson are messing with his car, and they rewired uh, his brake pedal to set off the horn. Yes. <laughs> so anytime he was, like, in traffic, he's just laying on the horn because oh, he has to be... Oh, laying on his... It's not even just a yep. one yep. So he hits nope. the brakes, even when he's at a stop... <laughs> like, it was like an air horn. Oh I didn't, Jeremy, correct me if I'm was wrong. That, was that the one or was it when the radio was on like blast with like Genesis or something? I don't remember. It was one of those two. Yeah. They, they have done amazing. both. But like, and they, they, they changed his gear knob to be, I think, a dildo as well. But <laughs> I think they yep. piped the, the horn to oh. blast into the cabin of the car or the cab or whatever it's called. Oh. The, the seating yeah. part rather than out into the world. So like he'd hit the brakes, it would scream the <laughs> horn, it's in the car and he's like, I think he was like, yeah, he was either sick or hungover. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful moment. God. Oh, God. That's what, that's, those kind of things are like, we have elements of that in Haunter, but that is really what yeah. makes me miss the series Haunter. We didn't get you in there yet. Mm. So many things cooked up. They uh, didn't get you in that show yet. Eh, we'll get there. Okay, okay. Uh, you want it. I feel like you gotta have The more he says no, the more he says yes. I mean, I, 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 I said it before, yeah. this is what's gonna happen. You guys are all gonna do your Haunter, you know, lineup and all that kind of stuff. And you go, like, oh, Jeremy, you're gonna do this. Trevor, you're gonna do this. And like, Fredo. Just don't and die. I'm just, I'm bolting <laughs> down the camera. fucking street, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the camera whips <laughs> over, <laughs> and he's like, it's like, him. <gasps> oh, here, look for the camera. It'll be like, <gasps> yeah. no. I'm looking back. I'm looking back. Every That's 10 really feet. Good. Hell to the no, There was a, one of my favorite moments with Rooster Teeth, I think, was at RTX 2019 or 2018, where we showed uh, that episode you guys did in London for Haunter. Mm hmm uh, I think you were on that one, Jeremy, too, right? The one in London? The Mitchell and Jack, Priory, if that's Jack, the one. Yeah. If it was the Hellfire, I wasn't there. Oh, no, you were there because but you were, like, Michelin drawing was. pictures, I think, Yes. Upstairs. Yeah. That was Mitchell and Priory. Yep. Yeah. Yes. So uh, it was that one that they showed at the first night screening at, like, the theater that night. And the crowd's reaction to Trevor getting tied in that bed and, like, you getting left alone in there <laughs> was... So it, that was like one of the best reactions I've ever heard to anything. Dude, like out. I knew something was gonna happen because like that was my first episode that I was in, and I think I only did the that two part. And the, oh, and then I did USS Hornet. But I'm clearly a skeptic. I talk about this. We talk about this on Red Web all the time. I'm very easy to dismiss the supernatural because that's just what it is. But when it comes to the dark, I I, I like the idea of leaning into a story or believing it or giving it some credence. And when the lights are out and you're all alone, like I, like part of your instinct is you, you believe a little bit. Yeah, you let yourself get them. You yeah, yeah, you do. And, and when it came to like doing this, I was like, they're gonna do something, I don't know what it is, but 
tie me to the bed. They left me for way longer than you would believe. I think it was like over an hour. Fuck while the, no. It was, yeah. it was a, while yeah, they like were an hour, yeah. No and crew. I was legitimately oh, God, hearing yeah. stuff. And I, I don't know, maybe I can like talk to Daniel or whoever's got the footage and just like, maybe we can upload as a bonus like the entire hour or maybe chop it down. I was providing commentary the entire time of what I was hearing, what I was thinking, what I was seeing. Like, cause I was seeing stuff and I was hearing stuff. And then when it came to Jack, uh, yeah, no spoiler alerts really, uh, but there's a prank that ends with Jack basically being but there. But the thing is that prank was just at the end. It was it at the very end, during right. During that entire time you were hearing stuff. Yeah, but like what Jack did was like, it fit right in with what I was seeing, like a dark figure in the door, like moving in and out. Uh, I was hearing rustling through a part of the, like a corner of the house that had nothing outside of it, nothing in of it, like all the crew was gone. Uh, it it was actually very spooky. Yeah, um, I, I felt yeah, And that made me actually start you. to go, ah, I don't know, maybe there's a little inch of uh, belief in there. I it's mean, as much as in the dark. daylight, I wanna be like, ah, no, yeah. but like. When you're there. <laughs> <laughs> This episode is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Now you might be familiar with incognito mode in Google Chrome because a lot of people think that by turning it on, no one can see what you're searching for, what sites you visit and other information like that. It makes you invisible online. Well, incognito mode doesn't actually do what you think it does and why should it? Because uh, Google Chrome has made a fortune by tracking people's movements online. And there's even a $5 billion class action lawsuit on Google in California uh, where it's accused of secretly collecting user data. And their defense is that incognito does not mean invisible. So how do you actually get invisible online? Well, you use ExpressVPN. It does what you thought that incognito mode does, which is reroute your connection through an encrypted server masking your IP address so it's harder for third parties to identify you and harvest your data. Plus, it is super, super easy to use. No matter what device you're on, all you have to do is tap one button for instant protection. Uh, I've been using ExpressVPN every single day it actually turns on as soon as i turn on my laptop um expressvpn is already going it has a smart location so it picks what server is going to be the easiest to connect to and the best for you um so it just automatically connects to that as soon as i turn my laptop on i know that i am safe and secure right away i never even notice it i never even think about it it is super super easy to use and you can change that location if you ever still feel like it if you want to have your ip coming from a different location that's something you can just do with a few button clicks uh just download the app you tap one button and you're protected by the number one rated vpn service so stop handing over your personal data to ISPs and other tech giants who mine your activity and sell your information i don't like that neither should you protect yourself online with a VPN that I trust to keep me private while I'm online. Visit expressvpn.com slash off topic. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash off topic to get three extra months for free. Expressvpn.com slash off topic. Right now, three free months. You can learn more if you head on over to expressvpn.com slash off topic. Thank you very much. Now let's get back to the discussion. It was, uh, yeah, when you're it was... there. It's scary. But, like, I didn't know we were full on going to do, like, I, I was told, like, listen, we got these ropes. We're tying Trevor to the bed. Like, that's what we told <laughs> like, there, there kept being shit, like, on either side that of was it our because first the room too. that we, it, right, there you go. Perfect. Uh, the room that we left Trevor in was also the room where Jeff had a bunch of shit going. At first, he fell asleep in there. Like, we were doing something and Jeff yes, like, just fell asleep did. on the bed. And then he also he couldn't see very well, like, hitting his shin on all of the furniture, like, and he just got a tattoo on his shin, so he kept whacking oh his shin to something like, ah, damn it! And then like he'd fall asleep, and um, but we took Trevor, and like we're like Trevor lay down on the bed. He lays on the bed, and I instantly grab his legs, and we're like, this is this is for your own good. This is what we're doing. I tear it down. And we walk out, and normally it's a thing of, like, you leave someone alone, and then there's going to be some prank or anything. But Daniel was literally like, okay, time to go to the field. And we went, like, super far away. Like, the entire crew yep. and everything just left. And we were, like, out in a field. There was a moment we were all standing together, like, looking at the stars. And we were like, wow, this is nice. This is really beautiful. And we just remembering Trevor was tied to a bed, like, in the house while we were doing it. And um, midway through that is when Jack started the prank. Because the prank started... Like he tried to get me. Yeah, and he did something it, out like, the field. Continued or into. Yeah, yeah, he it continued into to get you. 
but so Jack had to go put something on. So while he was doing that, he put his camera on the ground. And um, as I'm out in this big open field and just blackness, like you can't see anything. I'm like kind of looking through my camera. I see a little glint in the field and I walk up to it. And like a horror movie, I find a camera on the ground that says Jack on the top. It's and I'm so looking at it and, I, and I'm looking around and I on the radio I go, Jack, where, where did you wander off to? And there's no response. And I'm just looking for Jack. It's amazing. Oh, my I, God. Like, dude, seriously, good, that it was filmed so well. And when I watched that back, I heard the story of it. When we watched it back, finally, it's such a good moment. Oh it, it's crazy God. how, like, you could yeah. be skeptical of that kind of stuff. And then you're put into a situation where, like, you hear a story or something happens <clears> where you're like, okay, m maybe there's a chance. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, I remember Blaine and I went to Connecticut to film this thing for the Annabelle movie. Right. And I think, I know I told you about it. I don't know if I told you guys about it, but... Um, we actually met like the real daughter of the Warren family who mm -hmm. is like in the Annabelle movies uh, and her husband, so like the, their son-in-law, who runs essentially, I don't want to call it a museum because it's their house with like a little warehouse next door that has all these oh, haunted God. items and, and things that they've collected over the years that are supposed to be possessed or mm -hmm. part of like the, the dark arts or like whatever it's called. And they have the actual Annabelle doll there. Like, not the one from the movie, but the actual doll. It's a, it's an old Raggedy Ann doll, right? Yeah, Is that what and she's, like, cased up. You could see it. and, and Church like, glass, right? Something like that. Something like that. So it's not, it's, like, And they have someone special... come in and bless it, like, I think once a day or once a week or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it's it's pretty nuts, but... To keep it satiated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the child every moon. Their son-in-law, who <laughs> like... was giving us the tour of this place, uh, has mentioned that people have come to to see this collection and to see Annabelle and that in the past there have been people who have mocked it or made fun of her, and then later that day or later that week have been in some horrific accident and either got seriously injured or died. And I was like, okay, like I, obviously I'm skeptical of these things, but when, I, when they told us that story and then I went to see the doll, I didn't make eye contact with it the whole time because it was like freaking me out. I and in my, in my head I was just like, I respect you. I respect you. Fredo's face is saying cool. it all to me. <laughs> just, I was not, I was like, listen. <laughs> That's why. I'm just not gonna risk it, dude. <laughs> Say it for us, Fredo. No. Say no. what we're thinking. No. Yeah. No. No. It's a hell no. Here's the thing, no, it's no. like, yeah. why? Why it's though? Just... Like, why dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Right, exactly. why? Nah. I was just like, I'm, I'm good. Even not gonna make fun of you? Do I believe in it? No. Am I gonna put myself in a situation where it could happen? Maybe. Hell no. Oh, no. Hell no. <laughs> well, the creepy thing no, is that's that's not it. What the hell is that? No. That's not it. That ain't <laughs> it. What is I think that? That ain't it. I think that's something that they have in their collection. Oh. Ugh. I think. That is that made it. out of birds and Go to the wide shot. I can't see it. Oh, yeah. Show Jay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there it is. What yeah, is no, the, the real Annabelle is like a Raggedy Ann, like an actual Raggedy Ann doll. Um, but yeah, it was. I was like, I'm not messing with it. Also, like, the vibes in that room obviously were very off-putting because of, like, yep. the nature of where we were. Like, the whole day leading up to it, too, was very weird. We have a video about it, I think, as an RT Life that you yeah. guys could check out. But Do you think that was a taxidermied Warren? Do you think that was Ms. Mrs. Warren? I don't know. <laughs> She's yeah, like, I'll be part of my own collection when I pass yeah, on. Add me to the collection. But it's just creepy seeing that and then being like, we have a flight tomorrow morning. Right. So I'm going to yeah. be like, final destination. Oh. We're good. You're cool, Annabelle. Oh. We got you. It, it, here's the thing. We, we, like, we're all steeped in science or whatever. And we have our opinions. But it's like, we also don't know what we don't know. Okay? And <laughs> yeah. so why? The universe is a... Why push a little too far? Like, That's what I'm saying. If you don't need to. Yeah. Like, you know, life has its I own think my, rounds. I think my conspiracies well, are rubbing on you, and then your why, skepticism is rubbing on me. Like, I try and sway ooh. it. Yep. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. There we go. Say some nasty things, chat. Oh my God, I'm not I can't. Doing it. <laughs> the thing is, it's like, I can't even look at that because I remember or being there the day of and thing. being actually, like, slightly disturbed. By the whole thing because we had spent the really? whole day hearing about these stories and like these real events and we saw an actual exorcism which was a weird thing for them to show like us a, on a videotape uh, they, it was like during the lunch this was like an event where they had content creators come out to like bon appetit, watch the, the new annabelle movie and then actually meet the real warren family so it was like a whole thing um and during the lunch that they had like all the content creators slash influencers who were there they started playing stuff on the TV, including an actual real life exorcism. So we're just there like eating while watching this thing. And it was, it was just 
uncomfortable. Lot, it was sure. uncomfortable. Just, like, don't even want, you know what I mean? It's like, you don't know if like ghosts are going to get with the times and, and figure out a way to work with technology and you watch a video and then it possesses you through the fucking like I've TV. seen the ring. You know what I've saying? seen befriended you know or unfriended yeah, or whatever. Unfri yeah, I know, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm just saying like, just how about no. <laughs> How, you they, don't know. This you do know. How about, you do know. Here's a pitch. My elevator. Yeah, I'll face. be honest. <laughs> no. You, you know a bit. No. <laughs> that that won't happen. Ah, well, <laughs> never say never. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you just play, could just play video games. You could, you could just hang out with Dommy Mommy. Listen, I have I have no one to look cool in front of. I'm gonna respect the the dolls. <laughs> yep, I, I'm right. not gonna try to be like a big tough person in front of all my friends. I don't wanna look it. like a cool kid that ends up on a plane crash the next day. You <laughs> yeah. Know? Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm 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 nice. To, I'm fine being respectful to something that uh, I have no idea if it's real or not in terms of what the effects are. But right. Play it safe. Did they I'm tell go you flip any? Off that doll and die. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy. Don't even <laughs> think it, Jeremy. Don't even get that. Out of your brain. Did they tell you any other like in-depth stories? Because you're you're it's like in the movie of the Conjuring series, there's a basement or a kind of a side room where they keep it all, but it's a separate house. It's in a, sep sep a separate house, yeah. And uh, like, did they tell you any because it's cramped, there's a lot of items in there. Did they tell you any like other stories about pro like yeah. things in there? I he, he, he walked us around <laughs> the the entire space and like pointed out a couple things and gave us the backstory. It was probably like a 30, 40 minute. Do you experience. think Annabelle was like the scariest, like darkest? Item they had, or do you think like just based off they, what what they said had happened to mm -hmm. people who made fun of it or, or yeah. like taunted it or, or something like that? But the other items were pretty creepy. I don't remember them specifically. I just remember that room was like very hot. They had candles that were lit around everything, which I thought was an interesting choice of I all these like it. really like yeah. valuable items to have. Just like literally those like tall, skinny candles just like, out in the open. Oh. I was like, there's like 30 of us in here. If someone bumps into someone, right, this, this go. stuff's going up in bye flames. Bye. Uh, but yeah, it was like stuff from all over the world that they had collected over time that people had like sent them or that they had found or mm -hmm. you know whatever nature. Well, the, the, I guess the idea is that a spirit or an entity can attach itself to an item. I actually yeah. so the Annabelle story is actually really fascinating and and obviously there's the films you can go watch those if you're interested. Um, Annabelle creation I think was probably my favorite of those. But and they tap on the story a little bit, but the real story with that doll is that like. This they they found the doll they got it for their daughter or whatever, um, and then when they would leave the home there would be the spooky hour off topic. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They they like crayon marks would be on the wall like writing things like saying hello like I want to be your friend or whatever. Just move. Yeah, but then like I think they I think just like in the movie they tried to throw it out and boom it was back. It was back. It's kind of yeah. like a Chucky doll situation, yeah. and I'm like, yeah, nah. That's Dude. that's deeply unsettling I mean, <laughs> to me. You're talking about Annabelle creation, and that was um, we covered the whole Conjuring universe mm -hmm. on a episode that's actually not released yet for Popcorn and Shield. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, which we go in depth, and we might have an interview or two. Um, that being said, with, so cool with that Annabelle. That. <laughs> yeah, with Annabelle. With Annabelle that's so herself. Cool, by the way, I just want to like. You've got the Nevers podcast official. You've got this short, sword and sh uh, sorry, uh, popcorn, popcorn and shield. shield. Yeah. Like, and you guys have access to like, podcast. I don't know. I just want to say like, that's, that's really cool. cool. Yeah. I know it's like a sponsored thing or whatever, but like, but I mean, it's like, really a, a cool thing that we get to do. Exactly. It's like, we, you, you talk with Kevin us. Conroy, we, dude. We, I can sit down with Kevin Conroy and Bruce Tim. Like it's the coolest, yes. coolest damn thing. And we've, we did something really cool with the Conjuring too. That's all I'll say. Okay. But geez. we cover the Conjuring universe, and um, but yeah, no, it's really cool to cover movies because we talk about movies here, but but to be able to cover it, yeah. And then also have the ability to use like footage and like the rights and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff is like awesome. So it's a really fun podcast. Um, you guys should go check it out, uh, Popcorn and Shield. But we covered the whole Conjuring universe. Um, that being said, God damn it, that was the most. Horror movies I've ever watched in like a single goddamn week. <laughs> so, she was living for it. She was loving it because she loves horror. And Conjuring? I was just like, motherfucker, goddamn. So I, good. I went back, I reverted back to like young Alfredo. So yeah. I would like turn off the lights and then bolt down the fucking hallway to Dude. go to the bedroom because I'm just like, no, 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 no. I remember no. that. I did um, that. But you're talking about animal creation and. Oh. Uh -uh. And there's, the, there's I'm not a horror movie person. <laughs> there's that scene in Animal Creation where she has that little like she has that gun with the little uh, red rubber ball with like a fish hook attached to it, uh -huh. and she loads up the gun and she's sitting there looking down the hall like her door in the hallway and it's like pitch dark and she shoots it and it goes down and she reels it back. Eventually, like it gets caught and then like mm -hmm. in the ball and you see the string just go all the way up to the top, right? And then it's a fantastic scene. 
And usually you just go, okay, this is where the horror stuff comes up. This is like, this is where the scene ends. There's a big jump scare. But she runs, jumps to the Sweet. jumps to the top of her bunk bed. No. And then she's on the top of her bunk bed. There's a top shot looking down. She's on the top of her bun bunk bed. And then the and then you just hear the bunk bed go. <laughs> and you went, oh my God, it's underneath her. It's under, it got in the bed underneath me, underneath her. Like, what do you do in that situation? You die. It was such a <laughs> end it, end it, put me Burn down. it all Hold down. Hold my breath until I die. <laughs> Burn it all down. Dude, such a fantastic scene. They're so good. That like some of them are a little Terrifying. more missed than hit, but like. Conjuring 1 and 2 and Annabelle Creation are probably my yeah. topper those are the of, the, of those charts. And just, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm not a big film person. I don't know how to, like, put it into words properly. But what you're saying is exactly right. They set the atmosphere so much better. They do a lot more doing than showing, or they do a lot more showing than telling. Yeah. And, uh, and that really, like, helps send the atmosphere to the next level. And that's why I love those so much. God, there's so many moments where, like, just like you hearing it, where we're just like, yeah. we watch it, yeah. we're just like, ugh, we're just, like ugh. Ugh. just like cringing a little bit, like tightening up, I'm getting so, anxious. I'm so bad with horror. I, it's just like, it, it'll ruin me for weeks. Yeah. I mean, sometimes. It depends how, like, realistic it is. Yeah. Like, I'm good at the, the horror movies that are, like, clearly, this is never going to happen. This is, like... Right, some know. crazy space monster. Or right, like that, which could happen. Conjuring feels real. But the stuff that's more, like, paranormal or... <laughs> Uh, like possessed and stuff like that, that kind of creeps me out because it feels real yeah. in a weird way. Oh, there you go, Dar. Yeah, this was this was fun and they, and they were really That's pleasant awesome. to talk to and um, you know we got to hear some really cool stories that was never told before from like oh, right. Kevin Conroy oh, and Bruce cool. Tim and, and we got to learn like uh, how you know how uh, Bruce Tim casted for uh, the Batman animated series, how, you know, because I mean, he created Harley Quinn, mm. got to ask how he felt about creating a character, and now it's like a big DC character. Um, yeah. It's a fantastic Kevin uh, interview. Kevin Conroy, too, is such, an, such a good dude. Oh, my God. The three the three of us, the Mo Blaine and I were just like, oh, my God, yeah, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Yes, oh my God. And we're like, and we're like <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Hello, sir. How's it going? Oh, we're just like, we're trying to, to keep our cool. Straight geeking out. You should come to some of the conventions we go to, because he's at... You know all these uh, conventions that we go to for Ruby. He's at a ton of them because like voice just, actors and he's just chilling, eating yeah. he like a sandwich. He's always just hanging out, just like <laughs> the chillest dude. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. just enjoying life. It's great. Such a nice guy. I think it was in Gotham. Maybe it was in Gotham. He finally got to play a live action mm -hmm. Bruce Wayne. Uh, I don't think I watched Gotham that far into the show. I watched like half a season. I fell off, yeah. but uh, it's just fascinating. He used to be the voice for so long, and now he's finally like the live action Batman. Yeah. He, the the exoskeleton suit, I think. Um, I mean, he was he's Batman for a lot of people because you know the animated mm -hmm. series. Yeah. Simply put, and then then obviously like when the Arkham game came out, um, I was like, cool, there's a new Batman game, and then to hear like half of the the cast for the animated series like playing like you know. Um, Hamlin's doing Joker, and you know you got the original Harley Quinn, you got Batman in there. Yeah. I'm just like, this is this is a Batman game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Harley Quinn is a dream role. That would be so much fun to play. Yeah, yeah. That's like that's like my uh, what's it called when you like shoot for the stars? Yeah, you shoot big, shot, big you... sky idea or blue sky idea or something like that, where it's like a big blue sky. Yeah. Something like the yeah, the yeah. essentially like the top big. of your goal. The sky's bold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't I don't know. What you're, I, but I want to say it's it called up. the blue sky idea. Yeah. Where it's like just like dream as big as you want. Yeah. Like what that makes sense? I know that I think it was um, for the office. The writers would do that where I think once a week or once a month they would have a meeting uh, like a writer's meeting where they said like, what are your I'm going to say blue sky ideas. I don't know yeah. if that's the right term or not, but like you know, uh, Jim and Pam break up. All or the like, scenarios you could think of. Yeah, There's Michael no, goes to the moon. Yeah. yeah. No no limitation sense. and just kind of like throw out these like giant ideas that you mm -hmm. don't have to think about how to do them, just like what are, what they are. Yeah. So I think that's a great writing technique. Yeah. Oh, it's on the Clearly. CW. It was the crisis uh, event. Oh, cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Suicide Squad. Oh, yeah, there's a new Suicide Squad movie, isn't there? There is. Yup. Mm -hmm. The Suicide Squad. That's what it's called this I think, time? Because I, I think there's Suicide <laughs> the... Squad, which was the one that had just, uh, not, not just come out, but the yeah. most recent one. And then there's the now um, The Suicide the Su Squad. If it's anything like uh, Birds of Prey, I'm going to love it. I loved Birds of Prey. It's James. That was such a name? fun movie. James Gunn. James Gunn. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he's doing this one. Pie in the Sky. He's got a huge cat. Fert!
Oh God! All the all the other noises that aren't you guys are so loud. <laughs> like uh, that was the first bell. Um, sure was. Yeah, hey, that's <laughs> it was He's there it was in my brain. Um, that is a. Uh, that's you know we want to take the time to remind you first members uh that we really really appreciate having you here thank you very much and to ask you if you're not a first member uh to consider signing up to be a first member because then you get to watch a bunch of other content like we were talking about haunter earlier uh that's a show that you can watch season two at least um only if you're a first member you can see a lot of shows live you can play along with different shows and uh i see a lot of furts in chat you gotta be a fert member Get that fur. There's also a fur shirt that you can get if you want to be uh, have a fur shirt going on. But um, yeah, they really uh, being a first member supports us a lot. It helps us make a lot of the content that we want to make. It lets us keep making big tent pole tent pole shows and uh, a lot of other content that we otherwise wouldn't get to create for you guys. So thanks very much. Uh, if you're not a first member, give it a try and uh, watch all yeah, the other content try. that you've been missing out on. And um, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff. So thank you very much. If you are a first member, we really appreciate it. You are keeping us going and keeping us making some really fun stuff. So thank you. I really want to somehow weasel my way into this joke of fart and make it fart. And I just want now, like, uh -oh. get rid of fart. at fart now. Fart. fart. I just want to see a bunch member. of farts Ooh, in the chat. Ooh, maybe it's like if you're a first member and you make some fan art. <gasps> fart. Oh, first art. Yeah. Fart, fart member, member art happen, or chat? let's just fart. I think I think the furt shirt is for furt members only. There's the furt shirt. I think it is. Yeah. So, oh, and you got the little bell. Let's so cute. Yeah. Let yeah. the world know that you're a member of the furt, and you. Ding. And let us know if you want a furt shirt. We can make that happen. <laughs> we'll get some furt <laughs> pants, and it'll be like, you know, like back in the early 2000s, it was like a whole thing to have like bedazzled butts, right, with yep. different things yeah, like. Yeah. And now we'll, it'll just say furt and gems. Mm -hmm. You need to have like. Right like across the, your ass. Yeah. Yeah. You'd have like the bedazzled like Looney Tune characters too. You'd have oh, yeah. like everything. Like Bugs Bunny with like a bandana, a gangster style, Dude, and like there bedazzled. Was some bad that was, fashion yeah, in that the was early a, 2000s. That was something. That was something. <laughs> there were some bad choices in the early 2000s fashion life. <laughs> Good color palettes. But you didn't want bad that. fits. There's a lot of loose, like a lot of baggy pants, yeah. a lot of baggy <gasps> shirts. Very baggy. Someone said squat team fart, and I got excited. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That'll be our first shirt that we really, squat team fart is going to be our first merch. <laughs> you guys have been, uh, I mean, we at Achieve Hunter and uh, the Rooster Teeth account or whatever, like, we've, we've done the TikTok thing, like, we'll, we'll post some clips or whatever, but you guys, like, are, like, formally going after your new content platforms. Mm -hmm. And you, so far, you guys have, like, really... I'm just like, you know, you guys have just really kicked ass right out of the gate. You already had your first like viral TikTok out of like three on Yeah, so it was far. it was completely unexpected. Like we just launched the brand officially, I think a week ago. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're trying to make some more like short form comedy content that we could put out on social, you know, Instagram, TikTok. It's really weird. We don't have Instagram reels on the account yet, which is like a weird bug. You so think that everyone would have that right away. I know, it's, it's weird, but um, yeah, we, uh, Doing stuff on TikTok, Instagram, t uh, Twitter. You can see it all across the board there. Uh, and yeah, we put out a video the other day that we did just like quickly at the studio just yeah. for fun, uh, which is great because uh, Gus and Chris didn't really watch TikTok, so we could prank them with all these jokes that we've right. seen, which is always fun. And, and yeah, I think it's at like 200,000 views now on that platform, which is great. Damn. That's incredible yeah. for, for a brand new account, especially. But yeah, so it, like. It got caught in that algorithm and it just phew, took off. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. So go follow us. Yeah, we're going to be putting out some like. Short form comedy skits. So if you liked our shorts and whatnot, we'll be doing more of those. We'll be doing some some fun little gags and pranks and game shows and all that fun stuff. TikTok is just an excellent outlet for just subtly different style of content, right? There's tons of trends you can jump on. You can stitch with other content. Oh my God, there was a really awesome TikTok where it was like somebody had like their girlfriend on their lap and they're like, hey, happy Star Wars day. This is my girlfriend. Just want to give you all a shout out or whatever. And it was a little oh, awkward. God. You and saw then, that, Jeremy? And then what happened was- I love somebody, it, I love it's it. It's so good. Somebody <laughs> stitched it and, and a stitch on TikTok is where you can basically reply to it next to it. And so your video gets posted, whatever. So they put it next to it. And they, I think the next one was, they just put their arm in frame. And so like with a gun, so it looked like a hostage situation. <laughs> and then somebody stitched that. Did and the they, arms? They did the arms, so it looked like 
she was tied up, and then somebody did another one where they were his legs, and so it looked like. Yes. And then like a news reporter was like another. Somebody like FBI was at the door, and it just like it kept backing further and yes, further. Yes, I love those TikToks. That's the kind so of like good. really unique yeah. humor that you can only get via like Instagram yeah. Reels or TikTok or whatever. And so I'm really excited to see like you guys and your take on trends, your unique custom ideas. I know we've talked a lot about some of your ideas that are coming and like series and whatnot. So I'm really excited for like yeah. you guys, your guys' foray into like the social. Content. It's it's really cool, and it's something I've never really experienced at Rooster Teeth. Like unless I'm thinking about like starting Always Open, but starting something that is essentially from scratch. Like yes, of course we have the amazing audience that we have with Rooster Teeth who are like hopping on board, but there's a lot of uh, new people kind of discovering content through social platforms yeah. and stuff like that, and, and it's a good way to get people yeah. to learn about Rooster Teeth and and the content we're all making, which is a really cool opportunity uh, and it's also just like I don't know there's less pressure when you're making that those videos because they're so yeah. quick and so so fast so yeah. fast and like but they could do pretty pretty well if it if it hits mm -hmm. the algorithm right. in the right spot your reach could be <laughs> so like just in the last year alone a little bit of inside baseball just from a producer's mind like the 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 industry and the platforms have all changed so dramatically and I think quarantine kind of ex accelerated that but in the last year and a half alone like content has dr just dramatically changed and the way we think about Instagram or Twitter or TikTok or whatever else is it's totally different and they're all completely valid tools to an end of ma basically making content and uh, and I guess this is kind of a a bit of a segue but um, that kind of leads me to some content decisions we've made. Uh, one in particular that I want to talk about just really briefly, I don't want to dive into it too deeply, um, is, is Ali. Just Alfredo on a bed alone, <laughs> tied up in the dark. With ghosts That's all around. Right. With Donnie, no. Yeah. It's going to be called bed web. Bed, <laughs> it's going to be bed wet. <laughs> Red bed. And then the bed gets wet. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just briefly, uh, you know, as we look at these platforms and things change, you know, we started doing more streaming as quarantine hit and, uh, and we started looking at Awu. And, you know, as you might know, or maybe you don't know, uh, this coming AWU is going to be our final, at least for the time being. I'm not saying it's going to be dead for forever, but as we see it, it is on an indefinite hiatus for now. And, um, and that's, you know, it, we're all mixed emotions about it, but I think we're all uniform in that decision. No one, I, I just want to go ahead and address this too. No one's making us do this. AT&T think that we're a fly mm -hmm. on the wall for them. They're not coming down and, you know, that don't ever have to worry about that kind of thing. Um, they have a lot of other bigger things going on, so there's nothing like to worry about with <laughs> that regard. <laughs> this is we like, must yeah. cancel this one show right. where they open packages. What the hell people. is this? We do yeah. not approve. Um, it's it's a really awesome show. It's a valuable way to talk to you guys and give you updates every week. But we realized that it became a bit of a chore to do it at home, and it also it's just like we we do so much. We need to take take inventory of all the things that we're doing. And right now we realize that the chill and chat or chit and chat, whatever we do at the top of the stream every other day is, is kind of fulfilling the Awu need. And so Awu is not necessarily disappearing in the traditional sense, but it is kind of being absorbed into that streaming space. <laughs> this um, is funny. Dude, it's real though. Like I, I know I Jack was, and if you yeah. want any more information basically yeah. on, the, on the decision being made about Awu, I encourage you to watch it. It's all Jeff and Jack and they talk for a while. Um, I mean, I, I, they're editing it still right now, so I'm not sure exactly what all they cover, but please check it out. Um, it's part of the creative process and it's part of being a content creator is knowing when the right time is to say goodbye to something. Like it's not necessarily because it's not doing well or because you don't enjoy making it, but just, yeah. you yeah. know, sometimes if, if you have other ideas or you want to grow yeah. in other ways, you have yeah. to kind of let other things go to make room for that. And yeah. it's, you know, we've had to make that decision with a couple shows. Um, even Always Open was one of those decisions I made, which was really tough. But, you know, when we weren't doing it in the studio, the vibe was different, which is, I'm sure, the same for you guys with yeah. Awu. But also, like, if we're working on other things, other podcasts, other shows, other series, it's a lot to do and mm -hmm. it's a lot to think about. And so sometimes you have to just say goodbye when you have to. Yeah. It's tough. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is tough. I mean, it's kind of like monkey bars. Sometimes to reach the next rung, you have to you have to let go of the previous one. And uh, again, it has nothing to do with it being like some terrible thing or whatever. And uh, you know, we're a mixed bag of emotions. I think Jeremy, you and I bag can fully emotions. agree. Yeah, fully agree <laughs> here. Where I can picture first the first team's uh, uh, lads action news. I can picture everybody's yeah. first awu. I can picture all of these tentpole moments from awu and remember where I was in my life. I can picture where I was opening my laptop, watching those episodes, and so it's it's you know it is an emotional decision, um, and uh, but 
you know, times change and, it, and, and things, we, we grow and change and ebb and flow and it's not necessarily gone, it's just gone in the way that we're familiar with it. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I just wanted to address that. I know some of you care a lot about us and thank you so much for that. Yeah. Another news. It's nothing more, it, there's nothing more dramatic than that. There's nothing under the water. Um, in other news, uh, <laughs> Squad Team Force starting a new show called uh, Ahu. Um, <laughs> okay. It's going to be <laughs> well, hold on. fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be better. Jeff Ramsey's gonna be on it. Might have Jack Patillo there. Might be kind of like it, a it weekly could, report or something. This, yeah. <laughs> It could be the squad team force update. Oh, the SPFU? And it's just SPFU. Dude, yeah. that's genius. Oh my there you go. God. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to incorporate a U into our name. At first, we're like, oh, like if anyone's a fan of us, we'll call them units. So it could be squad team force unit or whatever it is. But uh, squad team force update, that should be a show. To... Uh, I don't know how I didn't think go. about that. Uh, I'm so mad. There you <laughs> go. There it is. Absolute <laughs> unit. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> But yeah, no, I mean like, uh, so yeah, that's something. But yeah, I'm really excited, like as you guys, like like I said, we post clips on TikTok or whatever, but I'm really excited as you guys are, are wedged into this new space, as you ex experiment with new ideas and test stuff out, uh, we're gonna be learning from you all about what's working behind TikTok or whatever. It's, it's just really fascinating to me as like, I like to pull this kind of stuff apart and figure yeah. out how these different platforms work and how we can continue making the content you guys want to see, we want to make, and, and just continue uh, getting our voices out it's there. It's all about trying fun stuff. stuff. And like, I'll, I'll say this now, and I, I hope this doesn't come off the wrong way because I don't intend it to, but you know, we make a lot of content at this company, a lot of content. And even if you've been a fan for a few months or a few years or a decade, uh, you don't have to love everything. You don't have to watch everything, and that's perfectly okay. Yeah. Um, not every piece of content is for everyone, and we understand that. And if it's not your cup of tea, that's totally fine. Um, you don't have to, to force yourself to watch it or to like it. I just want to point that out. Yeah. Because it's a, uh, we get that, and it's. The diversity of taste in our audience is, I think, very it's humbling. Yeah. It's important and very humbling because it shows that all of the different styles of content from gameplay to comedy to animation and everything in between podcasts just shows that you guys are like a uh, like wide array of interests. And it shows how large you are as, a, as an audience and as a community. I think it's really fascinating. So there's yeah. a little bit for someone. And that's what I think is really cool about what we do. Yeah. And I, I think a lot of people almost feel guilty that it's like, oh, well, they're starting this new podcast, but I don't really have interest in that. Or like, I don't live in Austin, so why would I watch this podcast about Austin, for example, or, or anything like that? And it's like, that's okay. That's totally, you just, you don't have to watch it. Don't, don't feel like you're, you're failing us by not doing that. They can choose, do you, boo-boo. You know? Do you. Do you, boo-boo. Boo-boo. <laughs> you know it's your saying? time. It's your space. Use it how you want, baby. I tend to, <laughs> no, I, was, I, no I, I had a joke. I'm gonna late. I'm gonna <laughs> kill it. And kill it right away. Use your time. Pull the brakes on that one. <laughs> I'm, gonna pull, I'm gonna back into the log, tr strapped to the yeah. back of my car. Um, <laughs> we, uh, but like you know, as shows like that go away, right? We're we're working on trying to create new things or even just updating our current shows. Like the, I think it's the episode coming out tomorrow of Minecraft is gonna give a good insight into where Minecraft is going. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, you know, with your dead, you're dead going on right now. Um, we have to have a plan of like what's going to happen after you're dead, you're dead and what the next series is going to be. And uh, we got some great suggestions on like what we could move on to. And then we ran with one of them. And uh, that's th th so tomorrow's you're dead, you're dead. I think for first members specifically, yeah, um, is going to like kind of give you an insight into what we're going to be looking at in the future of Minecraft. And like, so even something like Minecraft, which is an episode like 500 and something or wherever it is right now, it's insane. Oh, wow. Um, it is like, we're still finding ways right. to update it and change it. And especially now that we're playing on PC more and we have access to mods and access to different servers and stuff like that. There's just a whole slew of things we can do that we didn't used to be able to do. Um, so that's staying fresh. That's hopefully. Awesome. Dude. Know. Zipper. Hanging in the back, being a big cat. Oh, really? I love Zipper. Oh, hey, yeah, he's a big boy. <laughs> big I remember when Zipper was just a tiny little bathroom <laughs> cat. Was. <laughs> well, uh, Booker, uh, Cat took Booker to the vet, like, right before I started off topic. And um, so he was 17 pounds the last wow. time we took him to the vet, which is, that's big for a cat. That's a big boy. Big um, boy. But I think, 
she just so she took him to the vet before this and he was 13.7 pounds hey. oh damn he's losing weight oh, yeah. hey, he's getting skinny. Waist swimming down. you're still fat ggs so yeah <laughs> speaking of tomorrow's so minecraft dude oh, so big. such a cute kitty so beautiful speaking of tomorrow's minecraft um very interesting episode i'm so excited for it to come out if you're not a first member this, I don't know. I, I can't tell you what to do, but I, I would encourage you to to jump in there, uh, maybe get a trial or whatever, and watch that episode because it it's like Jeremy is in there. Okay, I don't want to spoil too much, but they're like a couple of us are right. in that episode, and the way it came about was so kind of on the fly. We knew where we were going in general, right, Jeremy? You're kind of hinting at another series or whatever. We know in general where we're headed, but the way it all kind of fumbled together was on the fly ideation, where uh, the, like a handful of us kind of came up with uh, some ideas and I think it came out really well. And uh, I'm really happy with, man, I don't know. I just, I, I can't say too much cause it'll spoil, but like, I'm just right. I'm really happy with it as a package. I think it's like really interesting. And, uh, and then we actually had a moment there, Jay and everybody, we were gonna film some more. We we're gonna do a double recording. There were some technical issues. And so instead we spent that time as a cast just talking about the future of Minecraft and doing some cool ideas. Yeah. And man, was that refreshing. That was like, I miss those times where we get to like just take a breather and just talk ideas and bounce off each other. Cause in the office is definitely easier to do that than it is like oh, when yeah. we're all oh, yes. doing a bunch of different stuff. But yeah, so that I'm really excited about some of the ideas we talked about and breathing yet some new life into uh, into that series, Minecraft. I always love getting a, a sneak peek at what y'all are gonna be doing from Trevor or Is like some like ideas the, that you guys pitch or the things I scream. <laughs> yeah, I'm still I'm still tempted wall. to start a, a, a Twitter account that's just like things or, or overheard Trevor or something like that. Where things just, Trevor says. The most non sequitur, no context, random things. Like I think once you were just like, I'm a baby goat. I'm, I, I don't even know. Like, that sounds like me. Yeah. I'm a baby. <laughs> I'm a baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh man Baby i love so much i mean like cat has a you know a real person job comparatively to like <laughs> what i have right where i'm like you know you know i'm, I'm in here recording videos and cat like constantly has meetings and she has interviews where she's like hiring different people and oh, wow. like you know interviewing and vetting and like doing all this like you know she's like a manager right like interviewing people and finding out who to hire and stuff and like, I think it was during an interview not too long ago, we were playing Sea of Thieves at the time. And like, when I play Sea of Thieves, I always play the, like a character named Shortbeard, mm -hmm. you know? And I'm always just like, <laughs> you're gonna, what the fuck? Or like, and I'm yelling about whatever. And it's someone, and they could, they could clearly hear me. And they're like, what the, um, what's going on right there? Like, uh, shooting. <laughs> My husband's a pirate. Like, yeah, well, like, pretty much. She was like, my husband, um, pirate voice. he records videos for a living and he's pretending to be a pirate. <laughs> like I that. mean, that's a good explanation. That was, I that's mean, it. Yeah, that's, that's what you need. <laughs> be like, oh, like, oh, my cat's got Twitch on in the background. Uh, that's not my husband. My cat's got Twitch. Hey, at least you're a pirate. I'm a cat, too. <laughs> yeah. I'm a, I'm you're a, or, a cat, or a baby uh, goat or dude, something. There are, I'm, a baby, I'm a baby goat. I, I'm a baby I think goat. everyone who I work with is convinced that you're getting louder as well I, probably yeah I'm, I, I got some really like i got some new headphones that really cup that sound in so i full mm -hmm. send it my neighbors are yep. probably like what Same the here. hell is going on in there but have you guys ever uh i know you i think some of you have have you guys played D&D &D lately or have like a D&D &D show at any point because i feel like the characters you guys play in your let's play series would work really well as D&D &D characters like i could imagine a jeremy uh like uh, pirate character, yeah, It'd be really fun. Would love it. Short beard, Detective Tap. Oh, they're all there. Yeah. They'll be. That would be, be actually really up. cool for Unruly Rollers to do a pirate pirate thing. arc. Yeah, yeah. yeah but there's some, there's some. D yeah, we've done some D and D stuff, <laughs> and you know, we have current stuff, and we've tested previous. Yeah, shows like, like Fredo and I played with Kayla and Lewis, Lewis yeah. and Jackie. Yep. Uh, Wayne was there for a bit. Um, Wayne, short time, long time ago, achievement hunter member. Um, yeah, no, we haven't done much D and D in the office, in, or like for content for a while. Well, we could definitely get you guys as uh, voices. We we have a new D and D podcast that we started. Um, oh wait, Alec has his uh, yes role initiative. Roll I almost initiative. forgot. Yes, that's on RTT. Yeah. Check it out. But yeah, yeah, you you have voices and you have. Yeah, we started a new D and D audio podcast called Tales from the Stinky Dragon, which premiered two weeks ago. But love that name. We have all the NPCs voiced by people at Rooster Teeth. 
And so I'm sure you guys will get reached out to by someone, uh, probably Ben, uh, about doing a voice for something because yeah. it's it's a nice way to kind of incorporate oh, more yeah. more guests. I yeah. would love to. Bring... I mean, we have our characters. Yeah, you yeah, know. yeah, it's true. And like, you know, and they they vary. Like for the longest time, the old man was like my favorite. Oh my god, there's so much cut here. Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot. I was, I was looking at it. There was a lot. That was all zipper hair. <laughs> Um, but like, you know, I love the old man, but my newest favorite character to do and Trevor and I, when we do pulse, it's like, cause we have to be so jolly. Cause he's a Muppet, like in the, in the context that we saw him in the character from siege. So you have to talk like a Muppet. You have to be like, hey, everybody in post. But like, you have to say the most like horrific Horrendous. Shit. You guys are always yeah, talking like, about <laughs> torturing someone or hiding drugs. <laughs> you know? Cut your tongue out from the back and consume it while you die. Like, he sounds oh. like, like Alfredo from Sugar Pine. <laughs> oh, yeah, a little it's, bit. It's Alfredo from Sugar a Pine. Bit. Oh, hello, little boy. Hello, little, bo little man. <laughs> it always has to be like, totally out of the blue and then he constantly restates what his name is so like <laughs> oh, oh. like he'll, right he'll just be like talking you know you'll you'll just be like you gotta do this and you go like i have a freezer full of human meat i'm paused like, it's so weird like i love it it's oh, my, my new God. favorite thing to do my in favorite video. thing is also Pulse jeremy you out. you doing character breakdowns of inside jokes because you nail yeah. it, like just historically in achievement, like if Michael's got a thing or you got a thing, you just like the way you can outline it is so, you, you just nail it. I'm like, well, yeah, it's something because like this. Improv. <laughs> yeah, it is Opposed. improv, but like there, there is a format, like the old men have a format, right? right? You know, when yeah. the old men go out and do stuff, like the format is you do it like, cause we don't have an end in mind. It's not like, this is how the video ends. It's like, we bought referee outfits and now we go out. <laughs> the, it only like, has a start. There's, there's, <laughs> right, it has a start, it has an idea. The end is like, something will start, like Michael will start to freak out. And that's when I know like, okay, we're winding down. So like the response to that for me is um, to either start freaking out with him or like to run away. Like I start running away and yelling, you can't catch me, you can't catch me. <laughs> And then um, Michael will pass out. I'll forget how he got there. I'll pass out and we die. And that's how they all end. Like that's the end. That's the format of an old man video. It's like freak out, return to the war, pass out on the ground, fall down, return jump. To that's it. Return to the war. I think it's my right. favorite oh, thing. Oh, Constantly waking oh. up the reality. <laughs> I I love filming the old men because I never know where they're going with it, but I love playing around as they like as they just kind of meander into a, a crowd of people, and I'm I'm just playing I'm just going with it. It's, it's so good. Those masks are also yeah. like very unsettlingly realistic. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Michael's especially. Yeah. 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 Michael's is very real. Like it's it's right on him and it moves with him and like. Being the old man, it's like you just moves, need to yeah. look and like see something, and you go, "I need to do something with that." And like I was watching the referee one again the other day, um, and you know, like we'll find like we found like a Kirby doll in like broadcast, right? Like there was a lamp next to him, so we started interrogating him and like, <laughs> at him and stuff. And Stupid. there's this one moment where I must have wandered off like while Michael was talking to Eric and found a rock somewhere. And like <laughs> just this most like the super random moment, Michael's just yelling at Eric and talking about how he's going to like give him, you know, duty that he's storing in his leg or something or whatever. <laughs> he's like yelling about it. And Eric's like looking disgusted. And the camera, because I um, was, were you filming that one? The referee one? I think ever? so. Yeah, uh, I don't and like you. You zoom out. And you pan to the right, and I'm standing next to Eric now, and I just calmly say, I got you a rock. <laughs> like, as the old man, like, I, I just found this. a rock. Like, I specifically brought it for him, and then it cuts to the next scene. Like, everything in the old man is is absurd, and I love it. Mm -hmm. Dude, but, uh, yeah, if old we, man impulse. If we ever do more Last Laugh, and you come in as the old man, and oh, if, God. if I'm on that show, done, that, I'm dude. done. I'm Game done. Zo. I'm done, dude. Hundo P. It cracks me <laughs> the fuck up. Oh, no. I can, I can, oh, there's me with the rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, the red card. That was the same place I was doing it. Yeah, right there. You're going to have a red card. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, is, 
<laughs> just take it out. Earn pulse. <laughs> well, <laughs> so stupid. I hate to say it, but on that note, I think we have to wrap up. Yeah, it's we have yeah, I think we do. We got to do a little post show. Yeah, so stick um, around for the post show. Or if you're watching live, see. post team does stuff. They're always yeah. doing, they're always they doing, doing stuff. some they're, they're doing, doing some things. Things. They're up to no things. good. Yeah. Baby. Yep. Thanks for having me on. They're gonna do it's Thanks fun. for coming out. Thanks yeah. for coming. Where, where can they check out Squad Team Force on all the socials? Uh, definitely check us out Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Uh, it's Squad Team Force on everything. Very easy to figure out. And we're uh -huh. still gonna be putting stuff up on YouTube and the Rooster Teeth site. So, um, still gonna be making series like Hard Mode and all the podcasts we do. So yeah, come check us out. Come hang out. I can't help. Come but be an absolute unit. Yeah, it reminds me of like. Steven Suptic's old stuff, squ uh, Super Panic Frenzy. We're just a bunch yeah. of or like Aqua it. Teen, Hunger Force. Right, I love, like the, I love the <laughs> amalgamation of it's just like hyper energy. I love it, it. Well, it started off as an inside joke, and it, it, it oh, just nice. is like this like ridiculous, silly thing, and then we just like it just stuck. And then that's history. Yeah. <laughs> Way better than Achievement Hunter. Let's be real. <laughs> what about Rooster Teeth? I mean, hey, what, what are all those achievement guys? I like how guys? you said that. There was silence from Jeremy and Alfredo. Like, what are you talking about? Aged. <laughs> no, it's, it's better than Achievement. We talked about it. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, as I am Spencer in the chat says, it's time for Poti Data. So yep. stick around on the Go live watch. feed. Go have some fun. And we'll see you guys Roll out. next week. Bye, everybody.